today's video, as you can see, um, apparently, <laughs> yesterday, uh, as you guys are watching this video, Russell Westbrook has finally, officially, well, reportedly, <laughs> reportedly, officially, come out saying he does not like it there in Houston, and he wants out. So, uh, these could be false claims, 100% for sure. He personally has not said anything, but it has been, been reported by, you know, so that means it's most likely true and with that being said I think it would actually be kind of fun to look at a little bit more in-depth trade options for Russell Westbrook now I have already done a sort of Houston Rockets rebuild where we trade Russell Westbrook but now why don't we try to follow Ross Russell sorry Russell Westbrook to his next destination yesterday when I posted a video on NBA draft night trade uh, reportedly, the Knicks and the Clippers are the top teams that are, you know, interested in Russell Westbrook. So why don't we take a little look into the trade sort of finder and see what the best offer the Knicks, 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 New York Knicks could make for Russell Westbrook. Well, knowing the Rockets probably want to get back to some normality of basketball, they're probably looking for a big man. And obviously between the Clippers and the Knicks, the Knicks probably have the better of the two. So the sort of uh, meat of this sort of trade deal would be R.J. Barrett and uh, Mitchell Robinson. R.J. can somewhat take over the starting point guard role of Russell Westbrook. Obviously not to the stature of Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is you know, one of the best players in the league, former MVP. But R.J. can give you, you know, a, a solid 15 to 20 points per game, good assist. Uh, you know, totals, and plus you can build towards the future. Then you get Mitchell Robinson, a pretty decent starting center. Again, very young, he can grow with the team. I think that'd be pretty dope. And then, uh, obviously you need to fill in a lot of the contract guys, which is what I'm doing right now. Doing on, you know, Mo Arkless, um, Alfred Payton, I think I threw in there as well. And I think I need to add one more player, boom. It's, it's green on both sides, and I think I'm also going to throw in a future first-round pick, so you get Mitchell Robinson, R.J. Barrett, in a future first-round pick for Russell Westbrook. Now, I do have the Rockets and Knicks both sort of equal. I mean, not equal, both, um, how do I say this? They're, they're both under my control, so I'm just going to say this trade has worked both ways and accepting it on both sides. Um, it's because I obviously don't want to have to mess around with all, like, the little know things that 2k my league does a lot so we have here on the knicks now russell westbrook uh i got to keep randall kept uh bobby portis which maybe if you know russell westbrook actually got traded uh he would probably have to get thrown in there but yeah first thing i'm doing off the rip for making for making the knicks better is adding bookie cousins and bookie cousins is my good luck charm in these rebuilds and i need him now more than ever the knicks are you know, a cursed team, not only in real life, but in 2K as well. I don't think I've ever won a championship using the Knicks before. Uh, they always come up short, so it's very sad. So I'm going to try my very hardest in winning a championship for the New York Knicks. Um, and lucky for you guys, I'm doing a two-year, 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 two-year rebuild this time because, of course, the Knicks off-rip with just Russell Westbrook. Most likely, I never want to say will not, but most likely will not win a championship by by themselves. So, getting rid of some cap space here, trying to figure out what a good trade would be. I'm just looking at sort of good pieces I can sort of like add on to the team once we get maybe a superstar in free agency, or if we get a good draft pick, we could trade the draft pick for a superstar player. I think that'd be the best case scenario for us. Looking at some good role pieces, and I find this one with Luke Kennard, a really good shooting guard, to play alongside Russell Westbrook. Uh, I'm probably just going to start him now with another trade <laughs> for a future first round pick. We get Bogdan Bogdanovich, yes, Bogdan himself. Uh, I'm very high on Bogdan. I think he's going to be a very, 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 very solid player. So 
Kevin Knox was pretty impressive. And then they just stopped. They stopped trying to sort of, you know, build his potential and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to try to restart it again. So I'm not really entirely sure. Um, oh, here's me letting you guys know it's uh, at 50. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how well we're going to do. So I'm just going to basically simulate this the first, first, first season for you guys. I'm not going to let you sit and watch it all because I doubt anyone enjoys that at all. So we're going to just three, two, one, pow, wow, look at that first season done. And you can see that Luka Doncic is MVP, which is definitely something that can happen this upcoming season. Uh, six man goes to Jordan McRae. Wow, Giannis gets Defensive Player of the Year again. Mo Bamba, most improved, I think. And then Coach of the Year is Brad Stevens for the Celtics. That's pretty cool. Trey Young is All-NBA first team, averaging 36 points and 10 assists. That's just... I need to do another analogs rebuild because, dude, Trey Young just is just scoring almost 40 points a game every time I do one of these. But Russell Westbrook here is All-NBA third team. Not bad. Also with Damian Lillard. I like, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot, a lot, a lot. Um... Shooting stats are usually always better on 2K than in real life, so these aren't very anything crazy. So the Denver Nuggets get the first seed in the West. Uh, nothing too crazy. Obviously, we didn't make it the playoffs. You can see our record there is not even 30 wins. Brooklyn, Milwaukee, Miami, Toronto, Orlando, and Cleveland. Wow, that's surprising. Oh my god. The Sixers are in eighth. That's the, it's just the regular ones, but uh, I figured you think they would do better than that. <laughs> and then you can see us right there. <laughs> 29, 29, 29 wins. Definitely not what we're looking for. Or on the West, the Houston Rockets also don't make the playoffs. We get RJ. Like I said, averaging about 15 points. His assist totals aren't really that good, but I guess James Harden's probably mostly the ball handler anyways, so... This is pretty high up there. I'm pretty surprised. Actually, I'm probably more surprised about Denver. Denver's being the one. See, that's, that's pretty crazy. Uh, let's check out our team stats here. Russell Westbrook obviously being the best player on the team. Almost triple-double. We have an almost 20 point per game. Bogdan, that's going to be very important for us for next season. Also with Luke Kennard. Boogie not doing as well as I would like, but Julius Randle is doing terrible. <laughs> Uh, I think he's definitely going to be someone we can trade. Bobby Portis off the bench, scoring just as much as Julius Randle. I actually like Bobby Portis being there. I think Kevin Knox doing absolutely nothing, so that's definitely not uh, going well. But you can see the young players' overalls are going up, which is all I really care about is just building a good core of players to obviously sign a big-time free agent next season. Um, wait a second. Oh, my God, the Suns. Suns were gonna, <laughs> gonna be, be the champions. I thought, man, Jesus. So the Suns getting Tristan Thompson is, is apparently the, the key piece they're missing. That's crazy, man. They beat the Clippers. They beat the, the, they were the eighth seed and made the finals. That's that's crazy, man. Devin Booker. I need to do a Suns rebuild. That when the season starts picking up again, I'm definitely doing a Suns rebuild. I cannot wait. That's gonna be so much fun. Um. Now, just simulating to the draft, draft, draft lottery. Make sure you drop a like, drop a like for some good luck for us boys and girls. Please, we need one very bad. Um, getting a high draft pick is basically all I'm counting on right now because if we don't, uh, it's going to be, be very hard to get a superstar. Again, I think we have cap space to get a free agent. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to have to probably work a little bit of magic to do that, but I think getting a high, you know, top three pick, 
six pick that's probably like a three star uh, draft potential which isn't bad let's give it a look actually with uh, let's let's put it with maybe uh, maybe with Randall if we pair it with Randall and our second I think that might be a little something juicy obviously Randall only scoring barely 10 points per game as being our starter worth that much money what I'm thinking is maybe if we just oh yeah we can only get Zach Levine which Zach Levine is fine but he's not the guy we're looking for uh, I probably we we just trade for a higher pick and get that 20 mil off the books again getting some cap space for us for free agency I think it's probably more important so I say let's do that we do still get a pick back so which is really good so we get the, the, the number three pick so Jello not Jello sorry Lamelo Mello 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 Ball goes one which might happen in this year's draft number two Anthony Edwards wow it's actually being kind of realistic that's crazy and yes please do not worry do not worry do not worry I am doing a NBA draft mock draft sorry a mock draft a mock draft NBA mock draft uh probably on the 15th I want to try to post one on the 15th a couple days before the draft which I think is the 17th but I'm just going to take the best available player and no offense to Obi Toppin but obviously James Wiseman is probably uh the best option there uh, I did just sign Boogie to a two-year deal so um if anything I can just have Wiseman come off the bench be the more defensive minded center have Boogie in there when I need it it's a little bit more offense and as you can see overall wise I did pick the highest rating player I mean Obi Toppin's a 78 overall as well but I think I did a pretty decent job oh we also drafted Tyler Bay <laughs> now nah, I'm just gonna keep him um okay so okay so Kawhi declined Paul George declined that's really good um uh, Michael Porter Jr. Spencer I think I also saw DeMar DeRozan there. Um, that's perfect. We just need one. We need one. I think Kawhi is probably the, the go-to. Maybe even Paul George. Oh, my God. Yo, I, guys, I forgot. This Giannis. Yo, okay. I'm going to try to do my best in free agency here for you guys. Um, I'm going to be, be right back. Hopefully getting uh, some good free agents. And I do. I simulated just the boring, long, 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 long free agency for us. I had to work a little bit of magic, but I did add a, a very small few of free agents. Now, I, I told you guys um, before, I was just sort of building a good team so you could just plop in a good superstar. During this season, I did extend the contracts of Bogdan and basically everyone I extended everyone's contract plus one year so um that did hurt us a little bit when offering Giannis a contract oh god I just gave it away well let's see who we got but when offering a big time free agent a contract I had to not give him the best offer but isn't it in his opinion apparently uh yeah Giannis thought it was a good offer for him so he went with us Trust me, I couldn't give him as much money as I wanted because we have Russell Westbrook picking up $40 million in one sitting by himself. So uh, I couldn't get anyone else in, during free agency, but I guess I did get Giannis. I signed Giannis. That's so crazy because the Knicks are praying that this actually happens next offseason for them. Uh, I try to look at other people I could offer, but uh, they, they didn't really have a lot of interest. I'm just very surprised Giannis did. So, um, we, uh, I also signed Tim Hardaway Jr. He only signed for like an eight, nine mil deal, so it was like pretty easy to get him. Um, and like I said, I extended everyone's contract who was a free agent during last season pretty cheaply, actually. Um, I was pretty surprised. So, we still have bogged in and, and pretty much everyone else. Um, I am going to give these minutes to Kevin Knox again and just to raise his sort of overall a little bit, but yeah. Russell Westbrook, Luke Kennard, I'm going to start him because his shooting ability. Uh, then we have Bogdan, Giannis, and DeMarcus Cousins. Now, this isn't the best defensive lineup, but I have a feeling that Giannis and Russ will really help out with the defense. Bogdan isn't that bad of a defender. Luke Kennard is fine, but nothing crazy. I also did get a new coach, so hopefully maybe that helps.
helps us out a little bit. Not saying their current coach is bad in Mike Thibodeau, but uh, I think a change of space might be good for the Knicks. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think we might have to start simulating, simulating, simulating this next upcoming season. Let me know if I did a pretty okay job. Um, obviously, I'm just sort of just having some like fantasy fun here. The beginning of this video was obviously pretty realistic. I feel like with Russell Westbrook being traded for RJ Mitchell and a handful of other players is pretty a good a pretty good trade offer for the Houston Rockets in my opinion at least. Uh, I feel like trading Russell Westbrook straight up for another superstar I mean may not be the greatest idea. You never know what player is going to mesh well with James Harden, but uh, I couldn't really think of anything. Uh, in the last video I was talking about um how the Clippers were interested, and maybe they do a Russell Westbrook, Paul George straight-up trade, uh, which would be very interesting if that actually did happen, and I won't doubt it if that did happen, but in my opinion, I feel like the Rockets are probably just going to, I don't want to say start looking to blow up the Houston Rockets, but maybe looking to build them more towards few, for the future, but still being able to win now with RJ and Mitchell and a group of handful, a handful of, of pretty good free agents, so... I think that might be their, their go-to move. I'm just going to simulate this first half, well, this first whole month um, of the season for you guys, and we are not doing as well as I would like to. Obviously, our team chemistry is going really down, but that's why I put all my guys in a team chemistry training, so that'll only go up throughout the season. And again, I'm going to skip the simulation because I'm sure no one wants to see that, so boom, right there. Uh, we are now this season and we are going to look to look to look at some at some of the conference standings and teams uh right now we are let's see we are second in the east only behind the 76ers who were the eighth seed last year oh they got duncan robinson okay that makes sense though why they're so much better oh and terrence ross wow oh and reggie jackson wow that's actually a pretty nice squad but yeah there's us doing good at second in the east with the honest and russ Pretty decent squad there. The Hawks are now third with uh, Alonzo Ball off the bench and Davis Bertans and Drogic and Rodney and Aaron Naismith. Wow. That's a good team. And the Hornets got John Wall and Randall is there now. RJ Hampton. Wow, it's a good team actually. Um, the Celtics re-signed Jason Tatum. That's definitely good for them. Nothing else is too crazy. The Nets are kind of struggling. Um, it looks like they got rid of Jared Allen. That's no good. And Dinwiddie, I think, was gone too. The Bucks without Giannis are very much struggling. But the Bulls, I don't know if they traded for Lori. Let's check it out. Oh, Kawhi went to the Bulls. And they have OB. Wow. That's crazy. And they have Jeremy Grant. Why is this team doing? And they have Rudy Gay. Why is this team doing so bad? And the Raptors are doing bad as well, but they have pretty much the same thing, but with OB, uh, not OB, uh, Kelly Oubre, that's crazy. The Clippers are now the worst team in the NBA with Kuzma on the team. Blazers are struggling a lot. That's uh, pretty sad to see. It looks like a lot of players left. Um, the Warriors are struggling as well. That's pretty sad. The Rockets... Oh, the Rockets don't even have RJ. They got rid of RJ. Wow. I don't know if RJ was coming off a rookie contract or maybe they traded him, but I'm not even entirely sure. Um, the Pelicans have Derrick Rose now, and they re-signed Brandon Ingram. Oh, they have Aldridge, too, and Otto Porter. That's a pretty good squad for the Pelicans, for sure. The Timberwolves are looking really good. Um, that's also very surprising. They have Melo. Um, oh, the Grizzlies have Paul George and Denny. Wow. Paul George and John Morant. Oh, okay, so RJ's on the Suns now. And they have, oh my god. Yo, they have RJ, Christian Wood, and Michael Porter Jr. That's one of the best teams in the next coming years for sure. But the LA Lakers are still the top team in the end. Well, not the NBA, but in the Western Conference. And yeah, I think we're done pretty good. We're the, I think we're the third or second team in the NBA record-wise. Um, obviously, a lineup with Russell Westbrook and Giannis would do that. Plus, 
us a very solid team around them. I really like our supporting cast. The only thing I actually am very much worried about is the um, defense. I think we probably should have added more defense. I've done this before in rebuilds where I very much just do name guys, like a lot of players who are just name, 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 name guys who are just, you know, very well known, but I don't really think of like actual team play, like defense and stuff like that. So if anything, I probably should have just added a couple more defenders, but I have a feeling that Giannis and Russell Westbrook should be able to get it done on defense. You have Brockton, who's a good defender. Um, that's basically it. <laughs> Dubuki Cousins is definitely not playing any defense, so I'm hoping Giannis can hopefully lock down the paint for us. Um, and then we have James Wiseman off the bench, who's probably the better defender uh, between him and, and Cousins, so it's going to be not too bad. But yeah, I hope, 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 I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I am not entirely sure if I do want to start posting earlier in the day. I think I'm going to be starting to slowly, 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 slowly start to posting earlier and earlier in the day. See how my videos do, and if it doesn't turn out the way I want to, or if you guys just aren't able to watch the videos at the time you want to, uh, I totally understand, and I'll just start posting again at my normal time, so around 6 o'clock. Uh, I don't have like a strict schedule because my work and life schedule is just so crazy right now. Uh, I actually have, uh, for the people who are still watching this video, you get a little inside scoop. I actually have a surgery coming up soon, so definitely not fun. But anyways, we have here the rewards with Luca Lamello Bogdan getting six man. AD finally getting defensive player of the year that he deserves. Devante Graham most improved. Again, a, a player who definitely deserves it. And Mike Malone wins coach of the year. That's awesome. Wow. Wes Westbrook makes all the NBA first team. Again, almost a triple double for sure. His shooting numbers got a lot better this year. I love seeing that. That's what we need for Russell Westbrook in real life as well. Uh, Giannis makes all defensive first team, which is good. Averaging 23, 12, and 6 with one and a half blocks a game. He's all NBA second team, so a little dip in productivity from Giannis, but I feel like obviously having a better team around him has, you know, affected that. But we did eventually make the one seed with the Sixers dropping all the way to three, and Mike Malone and the Denver Nuggets go all the way to one. Uh, I'm very scared of that Phoenix Suns team. Definitely do not want to face them, but I feel like we should be fine through this first round of playoffs, and we're already down 0-2 to the Pacers team. That's very annoying. Um, God, Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook only took nine shots in that game. And then Luke Kennard was our leading scorer for game two, or game one, sorry. Like, I need to do some coach adjustments. Um, that's for sure. T.J. Warren is smoking us. Uh, I think this is also the team who had the number, didn't they have the number one pick last year? Because they have, they have LaMelo on their team, so uh, definitely need to make a coaching little uh, change up here. Um, you know what, I, I, I think I'm just going to leave it the way the coach wants it, but uh, yeah, let's just do the way co the coach wants it to. I always change it the way I think it should be, and it's always wrong. <laughs> so let's just say the coach is doing the right thing, and leave it the way it is. Kevin Knox is just sucking a lot so far. And, you know, it's the playoffs. We need our best players playing the most minutes. I think the most important thing is just adding a better defense to the team. Um, I think I want Giannis on TJ, or TJ on Giannis, just because he's obviously their best, you know, perimeter scorer. Yeah, see, so they have Lamelo, Victor, TJ, Sabonis, and Turner. They have Brogdon off the bench. Like, this team is actually scary for an eight-seed, one-seed matchup. So, um, LaMelo definitely getting Westbrook on him, definitely stopping their pace, pace, pace of play. Then we're going to have DeMar Jr. on Victor Depot. I feel like they're both pretty much similar players, so I think they should be able to maybe cancel each other out. Um, my small forward is, cannot guard Sabonis, so I think Bogdan is just going to have to tough it out against TJ. And maybe the length of Giannis can stop the playmaking ability of Sabonis. Then we have Cousins on Turner. Um, and making sure everything else is fine. I always do Spurs playbook whenever I do coaching. And then why? I think this is also why I'm losing, for some reason, the sort of like uh, points of emphasis. Things are all mixed up. They're not where I want them to be. It was like, what did it say? Get to the past. 
something like that or feed the post. <laughs> Definitely not what we need on this team. We just need some neutral offense, a lot of fast break scoring. Let's see what we can do here. Let's actually simulate with uh, Simcast here. This is the game. If we, if we lose, uh, we're done and I'm the worst. <laughs> oh God. Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> we lose by one point. Russell Westbrook and Giannis have great games, but it's just not enough. What are we doing wrong? Oh, well, you know, you know what, guys, we lose, and that's fine. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else. Oh, wow, wait. Oh, my God. I hate 2K. 2K is so stupid, I swear to God. Oh, my God. First of Westbrook is shooting so many threes for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, we definitely... Oh, how did we go down 0-3? Oh, and then blow them out by 40 points one game. Like, that's just, I don't know, 2K is so weird like this. Uh, I mean, the Phoenix Suns at, at an 8 seed were in the playoffs last year, so I can't really nag them on that. But, uh, again, the 1 seed gets upset by the 8 seed in the Western Conference. That's pretty stupid, but we are going against the uh, former Western Conference champions in the Miami Heat, please. Okay, 2-0, 3-0. Finals against the Boston Celtics. The Celtics are the seventh seed. I feel like we should have a little bit of an edge against them. Um, it's probably just the regular Boston Celtics team. That's what I'm looking at right now. And yeah, it looks like it is. Ben Simmons, my God, six for nine, only taking nine shots in a playoff game. That's definitely not what uh, what Philly wants. And then we have Memphis and OKC. I say if we win this series, we win the championship. Okay, we're up to one, two, two, three. Oh no. Oh my god. Uh, guys, I, 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 I don't know. I tried my best. Oh my god, look at this game six. Oh my god. Six for 16, guys. 0 oh for 3. Giannis, 0 oh for 6. Why, 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 Taking so many threes, only shooting four three throws. Jason Tatum just cooks us seven for fifteen. My God, it's 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 so sad. Tim Hardaway Jr. was our best scorer that game. On an elimination game, we had Russell Westbrook just choking Bogdan. Look at Bogdan down there, one for fourteen, zero of seven. That's just so bad. Boogie Cousins. Taking five shots. <laughs> Bogdan Bogdanovich, one for 14. Thank you for making us lose this game. Um, shooting percentage is a 43%, 21%, 71%. I absolutely hate this game. This is so annoying. I thought this team, that team, in real life would make the conference finals on any conference. Mark my words. <laughs> Well, at least we lost against the NBA champions, so I guess I can't be that salty. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, the end of this video was just for fun. Uh, but the beginning, the trade for Russell Westbrook can actually happen. Russell Westbrook says he does not want to be in Houston. Is it true or false? I guess we'll see. The Knicks and Clippers are eyeing them. I picked the Knicks. I feel like this trade package is pretty, pretty nice, honestly, uh, for Russell Westbrook, for how he is right now. Obviously not the outcome we wanted, but I think it's fun. And I will see you again in the